There are currently many companies working on electric VTOL aircraft. We can classify them into four categories. The first category of eVTOL is multi-copter architecture. This configuration is relatively simple and can be very efficient during vertical takeoff, landing, and hovering. However, without wings, multi-copters lack cruise efficiency, which limits their application to urban air mobility markets uniquely. Companies in this category are Ehang and Volocopter among others. The second category of eVTOL is lift and cruise architecture. These merge the multi-copter for vertical takeoff and landing with a standard aircraft for cruise flight. Doing so allows the aircraft to achieve both efficient vertical takeoff and landing and efficient cruise. In order to maximize range for these concepts, the propellers needed for VTOL are designed with fewer blades and shorter cords to reduce drag during cruise flight. The small size of the propellers for VTOL operation creates a significant challenge in terms of noise emissions because of increased blade tip speeds. Companies in this category are WISC and Beta Technologies among others. The third category of eVTOL is the tilt rotor architecture, which either involves the wing and propellers or the propellers alone to tilt. This allows the propeller axis to rotate through 90 degrees as the aircraft transitions from hover to forward flight. In general, this architecture allows a propeller to be designed which is more optimal than would be possible with a lift and cruise architecture of aircraft. However, this comes at the price of higher technical complexity and larger overall size and weight due to the tilt and variable pitch mechanisms. The hover requirements needs the propellers to be large with low tip speed and low disc loading. This means that either the motors need to be large and heavy to produce the low speed torque or a gearbox is required, eventually interfering with the structure. Companies in this category are Joby Aviation, Archer, and Vertical Aerospace among others. The three categories of eVTOL discussed all rely on a propulsion system based on propellers. These three categories represent most of the companies and startups working on eVTOL. It is important to add Opener's Black Fly as a special mention. In this case the body of the aircraft tilts, and the propellers are fixed to the wings. The fourth category of eVTOL is known as ducted fan architectures. A major advantage of ducted fans over unducted propellers is that the duct acts to significantly mitigate noise, both blade passing and broadband. This is achieved both by the presence of the duct and by acoustic liners mounted within them. This is of particular importance when the payload of aircraft is increased. When the payload is raised on a propeller aircraft, the only way of holding the level of noise constant is to hold the disc loading constant and to therefore increase the size of the propellers. When the payload is raised on a ducted fan, the designer has an extra degree of freedom. They can let the disc loading rise and use the duct and acoustic treatment to limit the increase in noise. For a fixed size of the footprint, this results in a ducted fan aircraft having a payload that is approximately 40% higher than a propeller aircraft.